What's up, what's up? So today I decided I'm going to make a little bit of salmon. I wanted to do it in a little bit different way. Um, I have to stick to what my friend who I hang out with all the time, what her diet suggests. So I can't make salmon like I normally make salmon. Uh, which means I got to improvise. Uh, improvision is something that I love to do. However, when you improvise, you, uh, you know, you're subject to mistakes. So we'll see how this goes. Um, I'm using very minimal ingredients in just a little bit different fashion. Let's see what we got. For this recipe, you will definitely need your salmon. You're gonna need some butter, one lemon, definitely gonna need some Aaron's Vulgar Steak and Chop. Can't do it without it. You're gonna need some chives, some rosemary, and some thyme, along with a small piece of, uh, this is pecan for smoking. We're gonna make our own little smoking device and uh, I'll show you where this is gonna go. Now, there is one thing that I did not do, which is add the very most secret ingredient. You must always make sure you add the beer. So, cheers to all y'all as we're making this salmon. But here we go. Come on, y'all, have a drink with me. We're cooking here. Alright, just like I would do with any other salmon, I'm going to go ahead and set my timer or my oven here to 420 degrees because it's my favorite freaking number. To start that, I am going to put some extra virgin olive oil on a pan. Take one paper towel and fold it. Do not use one one paper towel because it will absorb too much of the oil, that's what paper towels do, is absorb, unless you get the bullshit one, and then that's your own problem. But, we are going to just spread it around, using the paper towel as our tool, we are not trying to soak it up. Make sure you get the sides, and stick it in the oven now. Then your salmon goes onto the cookie sheet and you throw it in the oven, you're good to go. But what you're trying to do is cook that skin first. You want that to get that really crisp sear right away. So having the hot oil to put it into helps out with that. So this is my little mini contraption. We, I showed you the uh, rosemary and uh, con. Uh, that's a smoker, obviously it's been sitting in a cooler. The thing is that your salmon will only take on smoke for about the first hour. After that, um, it's not really taking on any more flavors, so smoke it for about an hour. But I didn't want to put salmon in Texas room temperature for an hour. So I figured if I put it in a cooler, first of all, that should smoke quite a bit on the way out. That's awesome. So I put it in a cooler. And uh, I also filled the cooler with ice. So uh, there's a bunch of ice in there and it kept it cool. Uh, I can feel that the salmon is cold. That's perfect. It smells beautiful. It smells like it smells like our pecan and our uh, rosemary. I'm gonna get rid of um, the uh, contraption it's sitting on. We're gonna go put it on that cookie sheet right now. I'm pretty sure you heard that beep in the background. It's time. Okay, here we go. Here is our incredibly hot oil. Now, olive oil is the only oil that has a smoking point. I've said this before, it's not dangerous. So it's okay if it gets to its smoking point. It should be smoking just a little. You're okay, you're good. I have cut the salmon into two pieces. The reason for that is because I want to make sure that it gets up the oil all the way around it. If you leave it in one piece, it actually, the skin won't get crispy as easy. So, here's what we're going to do. We're going to take a, a half of a lemon. We're going to squeeze it about halfway, not all the way, on one of them. And it's separated half of the other half on the other side. Then, we're going to take each half of our lemon and we're going to cut 
I'm just going to leave any seeds in it. The middle portion of it out. And it can be rough. It doesn't have to be great. You basically just want to make sure that you've got a pocket in there. And you can do this over your meat so that as all the juice is squeezing out and so forth, it's squeezing out onto the meat. And then we're going to take a giant pat of butter. We are going to add to that pat of butter some Aaron's Vulgar Steak and Chop on all sides of that butter and insert it directly into the lemon and we are going to set that on top of our salmon. We'll do that on each side. So this came out so cool. I wanted to show you guys individually. Um, you know, we talk about the lemons and, and so forth. Everybody knows with fish, nothing better than a good mix of melted butter and lemon juice. So we had, we had cut those lemons in half. And I'm just going to show you real quick what it does. Uh, it becomes something you can use the rest of the time you're, you're eating this fish. You just take it and give it a good squeeze over. And you can see, you can see here as you squeeze that over your fish that that's not just lemon juice that's lemon juice and butter the perfect blend it's already ready to go and you just constantly have this this piece sitting up here that you can you can just squeeze over your fish over and over again and i knew it was going to be good i knew the butter and lemon juice were going to run down onto the fish as it cooked i didn't know the butter was going to soak up into the lemon and stay in the lemon to where you have like your own little squeezer of lemon juice and butter the whole time. And it's, the flavor's fantastic. This is a good hack. I'm stoked I came up with that idea. Um, it's just so freaking simple and so freaking good, dude. Oh man, oh, this stuff is good. And once you've got them in there, they should look about like this. You are going to hit the tops of those salmon again with a little steak and chop, just to add and set them, like I said, atop of those. Then set those each on the cookie sheet. And that is hot, hot, hot oil. And the moment that goes back in there, that is going to be extremely hot. Sear our skin exactly the way we want it done. You want to put this in for about 15 minutes depending. You want it to be about 120 degrees. So, 15 minutes on the clock. And make sure to check it. Don't just put 15 minutes on the clock and then let it go. All right guys, so here's what happened. At, uh, at the 13 minute mark, it wasn't where I wanted it. I knew it wasn't gonna be right. So I lowered my temperature down to 350 because I didn't want it to continue to cook on that heat because then the oil would really smoke and it would smell like shit, taste like shit. So down to 350 for another five minutes, it brought it out over across that span. And uh, remember, you want it 125, 130. So I think it's about ready. We're gonna pull it out. One of the things you want to look for, y'all can see, see that white right there, that fat on top. That's that's literally the fat coming to the top. It's it's a great thing. It means that it's cooking right and that it's moist. That's beautiful. That's gonna suck out back, back down into the meat as long as you let it sit for a minute. Don't cut it. For like five minutes or that won't soak back in the meat and keep it moist it's gonna sit on top that's all your moisture so if your moisture is not in the meat where is it it's all over the plate and it's your meat is dry leave it the hell alone for five minutes but what we're gonna do during this five minutes is we're gonna go ahead and pull this lemon light squeeze remember it's hot set it to the side Light squeeze, remember that it's hot, set it to the side. We're gonna take 
some fresh herbs. Now in here I have a little bit of rosemary, a little bit of dill, a little bit of onion, uh, green onion, chopped up. I'm just gonna lightly put a little bit on that, right on the top. Not too much. We're gonna put our lemon slices back on the top. We're gonna serve them with the lemon on top so that you can squeeze it on top as you go. We made a little bit of green bean and mushrooms together. I know you probably can't see that because the light sucks, but that's gonna taste amazing. And there you have it, man. Some uh, some salmon made in a different way, dude. I mean, I made a I made a smoking device. I smoked it for uh, an hour so that it would absorb the smoke with some dill, uh, some uh, rosemary in the smoke con. Sat it on some ice so that it would stay cold. It did. Uh, we cooked it up, man, and uh, we uh, we did the lemon with the butter in the middle. So I wanted to try something different, man. I'd, I'd never done it this way, you know. I was kind of looking at some different methods, and I knew what would, what would work, and I wanted to kind of just try something easy and simple. This took no time. This was so easy and so quick and so simple. Um, and I'll, I'll let you know how it tastes here in a second. I'll bet it's pretty fucking badass, though. I want to see if I can show off that uh, that crispy skin that I was uh, talking about, man. Yes, perfectly crispy. Saw it as a rock. That is beautiful. Uh, also, I may as well show you just how incredibly flaky this is. This is perfect. You couldn't ask for better. I'm sorry, but I'm gonna eat it. <laughs> Man, I'm out.